Taurus. Hello, my fellow Taurans, brothers and sisters. How are you guys? Welcome to your reading for the first half of April, the 1st through the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm very excited to bring you these messages. Uh, Taurus is my sun sign, so you know I want to see this one. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it, guys. Yeah, remember this is a general reading, so please take with uh, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Y'all, let's do this, y'all. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Torrents, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Whoops. Please bring forward the best messages for us, Torrents, for um, the first half of April, 1st through the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. I'm so jumpy right now, guys. Um... Taurus. Taurus. A lot of, I feel like a lot of awesome things are coming through. Um, it may, it may not necessarily be like right now, but as far as the energy goes, like <laughs> this feels really good. <laughs> yeah. So Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. April 1st to the 15th. Ooh. Sorry guys. I'm just trying to Settle down here. Okay. All right. One more shuffle for you, Taurus, and then we'll get into this, yeah? Okay. Here we go. We are ready. Boop. Boop. Bam. All right. What's going on, Taurus? Overall energy. We have justice. You see? You see? I knew it. <laughs> justice. Um, justice is being served, guys. In whatever way that resonates for you, there's a lot of things happening. There's been a lot of things happening for Taurus for the longest time. Um, it's been really rocky. I know my situation has been pretty tumultuous, but it hasn't been because of anything other than just facilitating expansion and ascension and um, hearing your higher calling is what I'm getting, like like, like finally listening to it. And that's part of where justice is coming from, because you're actually listening to what's being said to you. You may not necessarily be taking action. And that's why I said, yes, there, there's a lot of really good energy around us right now, but that doesn't necessarily mean that um, like right now or even within this time period of the 1st to the 15th, doesn't necessarily mean anything's actually really going to happen in the 3D. But this energy of justice is surrounding us right now, Taurus, okay? Yeah, what else? We've got, aw, look at that. The Queen of Cups and the Magician and the Page or Princess of Cups is underneath all of that. So, love is around you, Taurus. Um, but it's not just that love is around you. You're really embodying it right now um, with the Queen of Cups. And this is exactly what, this was also talking about what I was saying about, um, you know, listening to your intuition and listening to your higher calling, listening to the messages that are coming through from your higher self, from spirit. Um, again, it doesn't necessarily mean you're taking action, but in, in many cases, you either are taking action or you're working on figuring out what action to take because you know what you want, you know where you want to go, you know what you're looking to manifest. So um, right now, you, you either, okay, so either you are taking action or physically or you're not, but either way, the energy of manifesting what you truly desire is around you. Um, intuition is very strong right now. The Queen of Cups is just like, yes, yes, I am speaking to you, and yes, you can't hear me. Do you see how I'm shaking? Maybe it's all the coffee I've been drinking. <laughs> um, but I'm also, I'm shaking because the energy is really intense, guys. The energy is really intense. And so with the Princess or the Page of Cups here, um, so many of you are wanting to send messages. I know I've been sending messages. Um, I've been, I've been taking that action. Um, and for a lot of you, there's also like a brand new emotional endeavor you're embarking on, which is what the princess or the page of cups is saying to me. Either you're, either you're trying to send messages, you want to send messages, you are sending messages or, and, or, um, a brand new emotional reality is around you. Um, there, there is a new emotional endeavor that you're embarking on. Um, and it has to do with love, period. <laughs> it has to do with love. It may not necessarily be like a romantic situation, but um, the love that's within you that you're really connecting with and feeling is driving you towards manifesting something. And it is ultimately bringing justice into your reality, okay? Justice is all around you right now, Taurus. So, 
Oh, hold on a second. Let me plug in my, whoops, plug in my computer here. So getting into your storyline, we have Temperance with the Six of Cups. So there is a soulmate around. Um, uh, there is a soulmate around. And a lot of balancing is happening um, between the two of you. you. I really feel like your souls are really coming into union with each other. Um, they're communicating with each other on the 5D. Um, and that's also what's influencing um, messages either being desired to be sent or actually being sent in the 3D. Um, this is a really, really, really good and deep connection. And to be quite honest with you guys, it is incredible. It's absolutely divinely guided. Um, Temperance here is telling me that uh, Source is helping you balance out yourself, um, which is giving you greater clarity when it comes to your intuition. Um, it's greater, giving you greater clarity when it comes to direction in your life. Um, but with Temperance, the universe is saying, for those of you that are connected with someone, you feel a really strong connection with them, know that it is divinely guided. And it's really going to take you way further than you could have ever imagined. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next in the storyline, we have the Two of Pentacles with Judgment. So um, this is talking about um, wanting to send messages, wanting to communicate. Um, and you are... Okay. Okay. Um, so what's happening for a lot of you is you feel unsure. Your egos are kind of getting in the way. Um, even though you know you're hearing this call to reach out and say something or to take some sort of action, um, your ego is kind of stepping in a little bit and saying, wait, no, I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Now, that's not a bad thing. Um, your ego is absolutely doing its job in trying to protect you. Uh, but what is, yeah, there's a fear of vulnerability here. Um, and it's not so, in, in many cases, well, not in many cases, in some cases, some of you are allowing, and yes, I did say that correctly, allowing that fear to stop you. Um, but in most cases, instead of allowing that fear to stop you, you're really like taking a step back and saying, okay, wait, I know I'm hearing this call to take this action, but why am I being called to do this, right? Like, so you're, the two of pentacles is saying that you're really, you're really taking a balanced approach when it comes to whatever you're being called to do, right? And to be quite honest, that is very Taurus of us. Um, it's very Earth of us. We're very we're, we're we're trying our hardest to be as grounded as possible in this situation, because like I know in in, in my in my reality, um, the steps that I'm taking are very much in alignment with who I am and where I want to be going, what I want to be doing and achieving with my life. But when it comes to this certain situation, things were so out of whack in the past and things went so crazy that I'm really making sure that whatever I'm hearing being called to do is balanced um, and grounded before I actually take the step to do it. Um, and I know a lot of you are also feeling that as well. And I'm... I really want to, I re, the universe actually, spirit really wants to commend you for that because yes, you know, the spirit is saying right now that yes, we are asking you to take this step, but you are doing the right thing in making sure that it's grounded and making sure that you know exactly why you're doing it. Okay. Because yes, blind faith or, um, no, that's not what I want to say. What is it? Um, unconditional trust is at play here, but you are absolutely right in just making sure that you understand the steps that you're taking. So good. Just don't let fear get in your way, period, because it's not going to help you. It will only it will only hold you up. Instead, um, vulnerability is key, and vulnerability actually comes from a place of strength, not weakness, guys. Okay. Next in the storyline, we have Five of Cups with the Moon. All right, so yeah, so okay, so the Five of Cups energy is here, but only because it's saying to you that yeah, there have been some situations surrounding this in the past. Whatever this, whatever this situation means for you, Taurus, there have been, there has been some heartbreak. Um, there has been some crying over spilled milk, but understand that the moon is also saying that it's really not what it seems in any way, shape or form. Um, so yes, have your moment and mourn, um, you know, cry, release those emotions. Um, the moon is absolutely asking you to release, to let yourself feel whatever residual, um, hurt is surrounding this situation, but feel it with intentions of letting it go and being done with it and not having to face it again. 
at least when it comes to this situation, because it is absolutely in the past. The moon is saying, girl, it is in the past, honey. Boy, ma, yo, ma G, it is in the past. You got to let it go. Stop feeling like this is literally what the moon just says to me. Stop feeling like this. Okay. It's not what it looks like. It's not what it seems. You don't have to be upset. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be worried about this anymore. Just keep moving forward. Take the steps that you're guided to take and, and feel whatever emotions come up with intentions to release them in order to get yourself out of this negative morning cycle, okay? Next, we have Nine of Pentacles with the Prince of Swords. Okay, so check it out, y'all. Um, Taurus, you're feeling very grounded. You're feeling very independent. You like, you, you found yourself re very recently. You have definitely found yourself and you are um, stronger than you've ever been before. Now, with that comes a bit of... Um, a bit of a push because you know you're in a really good place right now and you really just want to get on with it. You really just want to charge ahead and move forward. But be careful, okay? The Prince of Swords in this deck is equivalent to the Knight of Swords. And guess what we're in right now, guys? Mercury retrograde. And it's going to be 11-11 on the counter. Woo! It's going to be in retrograde until the 15th of April, okay? So I know you want to communicate, but stay grounded. Okay, be careful. Um, use as much tact as you can. Um, and this is another part of what the Two of Pentacles, ooh, yeah, what the Two of Pentacles is saying right here. Um, you're absolutely right in making sure that the steps that you're taking are grounded and are exactly what you're being called to do. Because because we're in this work Mercury retrograde, communication sucks to begin with. Okay. And to be quite honest, in most cases, I would recommend keeping communication to as much of a minimum as possible without sweeping things under the rug, just so that um, there isn't some sort of misunderstanding, because that is a very, that is pretty easy <laughs> to experience in Mercury and Retrograde, okay? Um, yeah, stand in your power, definitely stand in your power, but don't be overly assertive, don't be overly aggressive. Um, Taurans are pretty stable when it comes to emotions, um, and it takes some good poking and prodding to really get us to release our horns. But when we do, we're very much like a bull in a china cabinet. Like, <laughs> we just come in smashing shit up like, like we don't care when we really do, but we're just so angry that we, at the moment, don't care. Um, but you're being guided here to really keep check, okay? Um, just stay grounded period. <laughs> All right. Next in the storyline, we have the Wheel of Fortune with the Four of Cups. All right. So I'm not picking up any sort of... Okay. Well, I was going to say I'm not picking up any sort of um, unrequited love, but um, my guides just corrected me. They said, no, no, there is some. Because remember, Eric, this is a general reading. You're right. There is a, This is a general reading. So there is still some sense of unrequited love, but again, like what the moon said, it's not what it seems, okay? This cycle of unrequited love, of um, being taken for granted, of being passed up on, um, is ending, okay? This season, the, the season of wintry, icy, cold, no communication, whatever is ending, okay? The cycle is coming to a close. Um, the Four of Cups is also asking you to... Uh, to um, as this cycle closes, take some time to meditate and reflect on what this cycle represented for you. Really take stock of um, where you've been, how you got there, what happened in the situation, and what did you learn from it, okay? Meditate on all of this with intentions of not holding on to it um, necessarily, like not holding on to the uh, what happened in the physical realm. Instead, hold on to the messages hold on to the um the lessons that you learned and carry those forward with you as you move out of this cycle but don't carry the specific circumstances like don't hold grudges but um yeah take what you learned from it and move forward with with the new that's coming to you next in the storyline we have the star with the the emperor so <laughs> Twin flames, your wishes are coming true. Your masculine is around you. He loves you. He is your wish, and you are his wish, okay? Um, 
healing is happening. Uh, there is a lot, I know for Twin Flames, a lot of us have been going through a situation where we've been balancing our masculine and feminine energies. I am a, I am a divine feminine energy. And so I've been really working on um, embracing and healing the, the twisted view of masculinity that I have held, that we all are basically subject to when we grow up in this, in this environment, in this world. Um, but um, that's really, ha and it's not just happening for twins. It's happening all around. Um, there's a, just a general consensus where everybody is balancing out their energies, both masculine and feminine. And so what this is saying here is that um, the star is saying to you, you're being guided and healing is coming to you in the form of untwisting this view of what masculinity really is and how it can be expressed in this world. Um, for some of you, I am picking up that there is an Aries you have your sights on. Uh, the Emperor is Aries. And we are in Aries season, guys. So um, oh, this is also saying that the energy of Aries surrounding you right now is absolutely what's helping you come to terms with masculinity, with your masculine energies, and uh, helping you untwist this view. Yeah? Excellent. Moving forward, we have Seven of Swords Ooh, with... The Ten of Swords, that is good, okay? I know it doesn't look good. These are some two uh, not-so-nice cards. The Seven of Swords talks about um, stealing, cheating, um, feeling slighted, feeling like you're being taken advantage of. But with the Ten of Swords, it's saying, I am so done with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and also, uh, this absolutely has to do with this healing of the masculine. Um, because here, if you look at this depiction of the card, you have a masculine figure um, on his knees with all of these swords in his back dying. And you have a feminine energy riding in on this horse, pulling this man's soul out from his out of his body so that he can be reborn anew. And um, what this is saying is, um, yes, the masculine energies really have this uh, karmic tie to... Um, um, a sneaky behavior, cheating, lying, stealing, being extremely selfish. Um, it's kind of how the, our patriarchal society is, um, is rooted. And so, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to bash that because even as I say it, I understand why, because people just really felt insecure and wanted to, um, protect themselves and also protect their families. But that's coming to an end because we're seeing how that doesn't really protect anyone. It only just makes our situation worse. And so um, what's helping facilitate this healing and this ending and this restart, this refreshing is feminine energy, okay? Um, I know for the Twin Flames, uh, those in the Divine Masculine part have been really connecting with their feminine energies and it has been their Divine Feminine that has helped them really heal and see things differently. And that carries out to everyone else that, does not, that doesn't necessarily um, identify with Twin, twin Flame Journeys. Um, it is the feminine energy that is helping change all of this, that is helping us come to this point where we're saying we're done with the Ten of Swords, okay? And we're looking to be reborn, refreshed. The cycle is ending, you know? I mean, hey, it's happening, Taurus. It is happening, okay? Finally, in your storyline, we, oh yes, we have the Two of Cups with the Two of Wands. Choices, decisions have been made, okay? Unions are happening. People are coming together. Um, union is happening within yourself, between your masculine and your feminine energies. Um, and you know, yes. And yes, the choice has been made. I know where I want to go now. I know where I want to go now is what I'm hearing. Um, for some of you, for, for most of you, the choice has been made, but for some of you, uh, the, the decision is still kind of a little bit up in the air, but because you are become coming into greater balance within yourself, it is becoming easier for you to make this choice. You are being guided to really understand and connect with your intuition. Um, because your intuition is going to help you immensely through this. Um, yeah. But for the most part, part, Taurus, you know what you want. You really know what you want. <laughs> I'm, what I'm also picking up from that is 
Um, you know what you want, but you're still trying to figure out how to get there. With the two of wands, uh, for a lot of you, it's saying that you, okay, yes, you know, you know what you want. You've been inspired. You've moved through the ace of wands energy. You have the inspiration and you know what you want to achieve. But the choice here is how, what, which path to take. Okay, I know what I want. Now, how do I get there? Okay. And what you want, and what you want is love, Taurus. And this is, this doesn't just mean um, a romantic partner. This, this is coming into balance and union within yourself. This really could also mean um, a business venture that brings you fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. That is, is speaking to your heart's desire, what you really, truly want to be doing in life. Um, and again, it's really just a matter of choosing a path to get there. A piece of guidance that's coming through with choosing your path. Understand that truth and honesty will get you further than anything else. Okay? Being upfront and honest about who you are, what you want, and what you truly desire will get you much further. Will really get you much further than you could ever imagine. Okay? It is time for us to let go of this... Um, of this idea that we have to stay hidden and guarded. Now, I'm not saying to not protect yourself. There are people out there that will try and, you know, steal your ideas and run with it like they, they like they did it, sure. But it's time to really release this fear of vulnerability, okay? Vulnerability does not come from a place of weakness. It actually comes from a place of strength, okay? And Taurus, you're strong. You're the fucking bull, y'all. Like, you can handle just about anything. And you know this. So don't allow fears of vulnerability to stop you. Ever. <laughs> Ever. All right, Taurus. There it is. This is a very good reading for us. Um, I'm very excited. I'm very happy. Um, I know you all feel quite happy. I can feel it. The energy for Taurus is very, very good right now. We are, we're feeling strong in it. We are powerful. We can do whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> yeah? We really can. Just stay grounded, stay balanced, and stay connected with yourself, with your intuition. Everything will work out just as it's supposed to. Okay? I love you all, and I will see you for the second half of April. Yeah? Much love, everybody. Take care. Bye.